Hi guys, today on the sneak peek station, let's sneak peek inside, the world's first floating nuclear vessel. Russia launched the world's first floating nuclear reactor, sending it on an epic journey across the Arctic, despite environmentalists' warning of a Chernobyl on ice. Academic Lomonosov is a non-self-propelled power barge, to be operated as the first Russian floating nuclear power station. The ship was named after academician Mikhail Lomonosov. But first let's see what are floating nuclear vessel or FNV. A floating nuclear power plant is a site with one or more nuclear reactors, located on a platform at sea. It is an autonomous site that can provide electricity and heat to areas with difficult access, such as the cold northern territories. It can also provide drinking water to dry areas, via desalination techniques. Advantages Experts consider that this type of plant offers many advantages. To start with, it can be built at a factory or shipyard, eliminating the need to set up a special site for its construction. Liking the content, press the like button. Subscribe to increase my subscribers, nothing else. Further moving on let's us see the birth of Academic Lomonosov. In 2000 the project for a floating power station began when the Ministry for Atomic Energy of the Russian Federation, Rosatom, chose Severodvinskin Arkhangelsk Oblast as the construction site, Sevmash was appointed as general contractor. Construction of the first power station, the Academic Lomonosov, started on April 15, 2007 at the Sevmash submarine building plant in Severodvinsk. However, in August 2008 construction works were transferred to the Baltic shipyard in St. Petersburg, which is also responsible for the construction of future vessels. Academic Lomonosov was launched on July 1, 2010, at a cost of 6 billion rubles, 232 m dollar. In 2015 construction of a second vessel starting in 2019 was announced by Russia's state nuclear corporation Rosatom. Loaded with nuclear fuel, the academic Lomonosov with a crew of 69 left the port of Murmansk to begin its 5,000 km voyage to Pavek in Siberia. The reactor's trip is expected to last between 4 and 6 weeks. When it arrives in Pavek, it will replace a local nuclear plant and a closed coal plant. It is due to go into operation by the end of year, mainly serving the region's oil platforms as Russia develops the exploitation of hydrocarbons in the Arctic. It follow the examples of submarines, icebreakers, and aircraft carriers, which have long used nuclear power, and are intended for isolated areas with little infrastructure. But environmental groups have long warned of the dangers of the project, dubbing it a potential Chernobyl on ice and a nuclear Titanic. It is planned to provide both electricity and heat to the people of Pavek and ultimately replace the generating capacities of the local Shunsky heat power plant and the Bilobinsky nuclear power plant. Design Currently set to start producing and operating in 2019, to coincide with the shutting down of the nearby Bilibino nuclear power plant, the academic Lomonosov is 144 meters, 472 feet, long and 30 meters, 98 feet, wide and has a tonnage weight of 21,500. Around 70 people will make up the crew of the vessel, which is estimated to have cost in the area of 30 billion rubles, around 400 million pounds, to manufacture. It features three decks, 10 compartments, and includes the capacity to store both fresh and spent nuclear fuels, as well as the liquid solid waste that the process accrues. Two modified and Russian-designed KLT-40 naval propulsion reactors will provide up to 70 megawatts of electricity or 300 megawatts of heat. These reactors, fueled by uranium, will be used alongside two turbines which will be steam-powered. Each reactor is designed to withstand pressure by being encased in a steel hermetic containment unit. Performance The aim of the academic Lomonosov is to produce enough power to supply a city population of 200,000, which will be produced offshore then transferred onshore. In order to do this, the main power generating unit and equipment is located on the vessel, which cooperates and works closely with a dock area that handles the onshore elements and transmission of the electricity and heat. As the floating plant is not self-propelled, it is towed to the required area, meaning that location changes are possible if needed. The lifespan of the floating nuclear power station is up to 40 years, with the operating cycles being 12 years each. 
Following each cycle, the academic La Monosoph will be taken for any necessary repairs or minor upgrades, alongside fuel checks and top UPS. The end of the cycle will also see the removal of accumulated radioactive waste. Once fully operational the academic La Monosoph is expected to produce enough power to supply a city of 200,000 people. Safety Concerns have been raised about how safe the notion of having an offshore nuclear plant is. Environmentalist groups have suggested that the location could prevent backup power being efficiently supplied in the event of an accident. Others have pointed out however, that its location works as a safety measure, ensuring that the plant is less susceptible to problems caused by events such as earthquakes and land movements. They have also suggested that the threat of a meltdown is reduced, due to the underwater location of the reactor's active zone. The future. Russia plans the vessel to be the first of a fleet of offshore floating power plants, and envisages that large amounts of electricity and heat can be supplied in remote areas by them. There are also plans for the country to lease the plants to others for use in their function of electricity generation, as well as other possible activities. Conversion for use as water desalination plants is also seen as a potential future purpose. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching and hit the like button, feel free to subscribe.